Hi YouTube, Dawn of Lady Clouds here. Today we will be doing the e-juice review on a few of MV Traveler's e-juices. They are 70% VG. I think all of them are 70, 70 and 70. Yes, so they're all 70% VG. I have the flavors Russian Nutcracker, Arabian Quicksand, Nanaimo Bar and Golden Gate Bridge and out of all four of these Nanaimo Bar was my favorite and Golden Gate Bridge was my second so we are going to start with my favorite Nanaimo Bar and it's a national treasure Canadian icon who doesn't love Nanaimo Bars in all our in all their rich chocolate covered creamy deliciousness and I personally love Nanaimo Bars so I liked this juice a lot. It was pretty bang on to the actual flavor. It's been steeping for about a month since I've tried it now, so it's definitely going to be a lot more powerful. So let's give her a ring. Definitely get like the chocolate on the inhale with like the coconut kind of. I don't know if it's like a lemony or what, but I don't know what the filling is, but the filling, it, it's the filling and it's bang on, like fucking bang on. It's literally my favorite one from their lineup. Uh, there's a few others I would like to try. I would like to try their BC Bud flavor and a couple others, but I will put those in the description below if I'm not feeling lazy. Cloud density is amazing for a 70% VG, which is great. So I really like that. These juices came out of Vancouver, British Columbia. Just so chocolatey and it was more chocolatey I find like the I think the flavor the center, like the filling came out a lot more in with steeping because it used to be a lot more chocolatey, but it's not as chocolatey as it used to be because the filling comes out and kind of broadens it. So next we have, no, I'm going to go with Golden Gate Bridge next. And that one is what comes to mind when you think golden, how much graham cracker and brown, how about graham cracker and brown sugar? And graham crackers and brown sugar are both fucking amazing. So that's what made this juice so good. All right, let's go for the flavor profile. So you definitely get the graham cracker in the exhale and a little, like you get sweetness on the inhale. So I'm expecting that to be the brown sugar and you get like the graham cracker on the exhale and it's really sweet. It's kind of, it reminds me of other juices I've tried that I'm not going to say the name of because they're too good to reveal on, I don't want to reveal the juice. So you guys are going to have to deal with that. But it's just, it's so good. It's very sweet. It's for me, it'd be an all day vape. I have been trying so many other juices lately though, so I haven't had this one on my daily wall for a while. So it's gonna be going up there for me to finish vaping it. I do love letting my juices sit for one to three months to steep those so that they are like full flavor. Of course, I put them in a cool dark place like you're supposed to be. Well, not cool, cool, but like room temperature, dark space. Now we'll be doing Russian Nutcracker. Let me find that one here. And it's this juice is nuts. Peanuts, that is, and pistachios. So this one wasn't really my favorite because I don't like straight peanuts and I never I don't like them in food either. So like I can have it sometimes, but it's very rare when I enjoy peanuts in my food. I like Reese cups, but that's about it. So You definitely get the peanut with the inhale and you kind of get a little bit of pistachio on the exhale, but it's not quite a bang on pistachio. It's kind of a sweeter kind of pistachio. It's very sweet juice, but it's just, I'm not a big peanuts fan. So 
it's kind of lower on my list. I think it's the least favorite one I got. The Arabian Quicksand was a lot nicer for me, I found. But that's my personal opinion. If you do like a peanut vape, go for this one because it is very peanutty. So next we'll be doing the Arabian Quicksand. And it is the sands of the Arabian desert can swallow up or swallow one up in a split second. Get lost in a decadence of Arabian quicksand, a creamy, rich, muddy vape, the dessert of dessert. So it I'm expecting it kind of to be like graham crackery and vanilla with whipped cream and stuff like that. That's what I'm expecting. So let's see what we get. So definitely graham cracker in it. You get a little bit of the vanilla. I don't get any like chocolate or anything. It's pretty creamy on the inhale. The graham cracker definitely sits on your palate after you're done vaping it. So you'll have graham cracker breath, but that's not so bad opposed to cigarette breath. So yeah. So this is going to conclude my review on MV Travelers. Oh, sorry. MV Travelers e-juice line of the juices that I do have by them. Thank you guys for watching. I will put the link in the description below of where you can find these juices and happy vaping. Wait, like, comment, and subscribe, please, and thank you. And check out mine and Robbie Vape's new channel, The Great Do Vape. You guys are the judges, so you get to decide who wins our debate. So pick the best side and continue watching because it's going to be a weekly thing and this shall be fun. So like, comment, subscribe, and happy vaping.